Okay, is this working? Okay, so this is what if Deku had an electric quirk? Yeah. So Deku's quirk is called <clears throat> Deku's quirk is called electric shock. It's kind of like Deku's quirk, but instead of like it being yellow, it's gonna. I'm gonna say it's gonna be green, like blue. This type of color, like the bluish. Like that type of color. Something like that. I don't know. It's going to be something like that. And so, Deku. Squirt, and then they, they go to the doctor. Is everything the same? And they uh, then they find trying to find out what his quirk is. They find out his quirk is electric shock. And basically what a Deku could do is he can he can make like his... There's um there's holes in it, all of his fingers, which like produces a metal string, which with this metal string which go could um electric we electrocuted. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just messing this up. Um, so basically, he could put these wires into people and electrocute them just by that. And par- he could it depends. So he and he could do three different types of electricity. He could do shock. Which he could do shock, which like shocks them. He could do paralyze, which paralyzes them and they couldn't move. And he also he did, and then he does the last one, which is like I'm gonna I'm gonna call it lightning, because because it's as strong as lightning. And then if you get hit bit by it, if you get hit by it more than once, you might die. I think that's what it is. You might die depending on how you are. But Deku tries not to use that one it tries to find weaker ones so yeah that happens um oh yeah and he also and also what his quirk could do is he can he um he could use those wires i mean he could actually go through like outlets and stuff like that and then he could go through outlets and stuff like that yeah so he could just go th- he could go through other stuff that has like electricity or Put takes in electricity or stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. So basically, that that's it. And um, yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah. Also, he could also um produce like electric waves. Electric waves is kind of like Jiro's quirk and um yeah Jiro's quirk and no not Jiro Jiro's the, t- the guy with the tail. Um, what is her name? I forgot already. The girl with the um ear things. Okay. Yeah, the girl with the ear the things are the earlobe things. So it's kinda like that where she puts her ear things in her speakers and and Denki's quirk, I know him because he's easiest. Um, and Denki's quirk when he gum electric use. So it's called electric shock, so it basically spreads a wave of electric of electricity of not a yellow electricity again, it's gonna be a green electricity. So it'll produce a green electricity of that thing. Yeah, so basically that's it. Oh yeah, and he glows in the dark. <laughs> so that's the bad thing about that's like you know how everything has a problem. Oh yeah, and he gets tired every time he uses the, every time he uses some um, like the lightning or something like that. Yeah, and he's glow in the dark again. So, yeah, and he could see he could yeah he's glow in the dark. It's like hair, cause like this it's like exact kind of like this, like his hair and his his hair hair and his eyes are gonna be like glow in the dark. So, yeah. But basically, it's, like, pretty good, though. So, first day of kindergarten. I mean, well, not first day of kindergarten. When Deku got, when they ask what Deku's quirk is, Deku explains that his quirk is... uh, What what did I call it? I think I call that electric shock. I'm gonna call it... Okay, I'm, I changed the name. I'm gonna call it electricity. Actually, I'm gonna call it electrons. It's called electrons now. Okay, that's the name. Um, so they ask, he, he explained that's called electrons, and then he was like, what is that? And so Deku, 
Yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, it's recording. Okay, sorry. Uh, I had to go get uh stuff from my thing. I went and got something from my uncle. I guess he was here, so that's why I was like quiet for a minute. Okay, but um, so yeah. Okay, so back. Where, where, where did I left off? Oh my god. Uh, all right, Dicker. Okay, so they explain his quirk. Obviously, they explain. He explains his quirk. He explains that you can go to TVs and stuff like that. He explains everything I just said. So basically, yeah, all that stuff happened over again. And Bakugo is, like, not as mean as... Uh, he's, like, he looks up to Deku a little bit more. Well, he's, like, he's, like, be- he's like friends with Deku. He's not, like, mean to Deku like he is and bullies him in, like, high, in high school and stuff like that. And so... And... Yeah, so basically Bakugo and Deku are friends, and then they train their quirks now and then, sometimes, and yeah, so basically, that happens. So, Deku, so everything the same besides Bully Bakugo and everyone laughing at Deku because he doesn't have a quirk, and um, the Slud Villain attack. The slug villain comes to attack, and he he attacks Deku, and Deku learns a new move because he can't breathe, and he knows his electric is gonna work because it's a liquid. So Deku uses a new move called. An electric heat up. You know how if you electric heat up something for a long time it's gonna burn it it's gonna like turn red. So basically like that. It's like camera sheet squirt. But just um clear sheet squirt and total squirt. Yeah, so basically that happened. So the villain evapor the villain evaporate I think the villain melts, and Deku puts the villain in the bottle they find nearby. And all that comes. That's what happened to the villain. Deku explains what happened. And so all right. thanks Deku. And so all Deku goes away. Mm, all Might goes away, but Deku grabs on to him. Uh. So, Deku asked All Might, I mean, all, yeah, Deku asked All Might if Deku would be the number one hero with the electric quirk. And All Might says, you can't become a number one hero, but it doesn't mean that it's a quirk. He said, you can't become a number one hero with an electric quirk. Um, Deku is overjoyed to hear this. But All Might turned into small might for him, and Deku is like imposter and stuff like that. Now, obviously, All Might explains what happened and stuff like that. So, yeah. So it's like I'm gonna say the slug bin doesn't attack Bakugo. Yeah, slug villain doesn't attack Bakugo this time. So. Deku goes home. He's writing a paper for UA and stuff like that. Uh huh. Gets all stuff. And then he gets ready to go to the um, entrance exam. Oh, oh my god. So, Deku, um, just to enter the exam. Um, he trips because he's overthinking. Overthinking all bunch of stuff. Uh, and uh, oh, right. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I'll, I'll look over it. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to uh, all my thing. Okay. So, let's say the slime villain does not have. And Deku saves Baku, obviously. Uh, 
I forgot to do this. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. So, Bakugo, it's tag deck and say it's Bakugo with this new move. Uh, and so, all night, Alex Deku is going to his court. And Deku says, how is that possible? Uh, so, all night explains that about his quirk and stuff like that. If you don't know what um, all my quirk is, then you shouldn't be watching this video right now. <laughs> That's all I should say. And so Deku, um, Deku accepts the quirk, and so Deku's electricity quirk gets stronger. Oh yeah, so it gets stronger. I'm a little bit stronger now. A whole bit stronger. Like, oh, I'm overpowered now. I can kill you only with this weak move, and then. On a stronger move, you're dead. Automatically. Nothing like that. But, it's still the same. It's like, electric powers are still the same. Instead, for, um, instead, except for the, um, thing where he can go through outlets and stuff like that. So now he could go through any metal. So he could go on any metal. And, and he could electrocute um, liquids now. Oh yeah, mercy that happens. And obviously he's strong, so yeah, because of all my squirt too, and because he trained on the beach. Okay, so that happens. So I will um do that start thing. Obviously, no one really cares about what happens in that interest room. So Yaku, um. To could get ten. Oh, oh yeah, all the um blah blah blah. All right, back. All the way back to the beginning. Okay, fine. Okay, finally I made it back. Um, so Uraka um helps Deku because Deku's overthinking, and they meet and stuff like that. So Deku's like not flustered and stuff like that, and doesn't talk. Saying Deku actually talks to Uraka and stuff like that. And so they talk, 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 and then to they get into the entrance room, and then they kind of talk, but, but during the ceremony thing. You see where I'm going with this. Um, and then, and then that happens, obviously. So, um, yeah, so basically that happens in other things. So, they come back, um, they go, I mean, they go to the uh, start. And so, Deku kind of uses a little bit more for all. Let's say he, you know, you know, he knows how to use 5% at the beginning. So, he uses 5% to run. So like robots, and then he actually electrocutes them. He electrocutes them with like, I'm gonna say it's paralyzing moves because they're um, robots, <clears throat> and he can like because they probably have a, like a lot of energy and like a lot of electricity in them. So they could just need to add a little bit more electricity to overpower or break it. So that's so he keep on doing that to every robot he sees, and Deku, um the. A zero point robot is so Deku got about like a nice about a thousand points. I want to say, but no, I'm gonna say 50 points. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say about a, mm, 70 points. Se no, mm, 100, 100 points right now. Okay, let's. I think I don't know what the highest was. I'm gonna say 100. 100 you got a hunt, nice 100 points. From all this uh, stuff he tied. Then Uraka, um, Uraka gets trapped by the rubble. And so Deku sees this. And he doesn't run or anything. He's about to go attack the, um, he about to go attack the villain, um, the zero point robot. So he uses the wires from his hands. I think I said that here. I'm pretty sure I said that. I said something like that. Please let me know. Harass me in the comments if I didn't say it. I said harass me, please. Uh, <clears throat> but the wires from out his hands. Yeah, I think I said it. The metal, yeah, metal, the metal wire things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm 100 percent sure I said that. If I didn't, harass me. Um, but so I had yeah, this is the um stuff coming out, the wires coming out of his hands, obviously. 
and they connect to the robot, and Deku uses the move that he said he was never gonna use ever, like ever, against a human being. And so he electrocutes a robot, and boom, giant explosion demonetization sign. Okay, but no, I just can't. You can't be a demonetization sign in the entrance of games, cause that means the only the person only person there was Raka and Deku, so that means they would have died. So no demonetization sign. Take away that. Out. Okay. So um. Yeah, so basically that happens, and, um, yeah. So, Uraka thanks Deku, because he just stays there, and it, and Deku asks, uh, he's, like, more confident about doing this, and Deku says, if you want to thank me, um, uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to a coffee place on the side of the thing. I don't know how to start this conversation anymore. Okay, don't expect me to do any romance ever again. I say that, but it's gonna happen sometime soon. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Some, it's gonna happen sometime soon. Oh my god! <laughs> this is why I need people to help me. All right, make sure to join our Discord. The link will be down in the description. Please join our Discord. Please, 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 please. Okay. Um. So back to the date. Okay. So Deku obviously asked Uraka on a um, date. They go on a date. Couple dates. Deku changes. Deku trains until the first day of school. Obviously, everyone knows that he got in because he has 100 villain points. And uh, let's say 100 hero points. I don't know. I don't want to just keep it even. Um, and so Deku um, just keeps. What was I going to say? Um, what was I going to say? Oh my god, I don't know. I have no idea about this. Um, so Deku. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna say right now. <laughs> Alright, they go into the couple days and then obviously blah blah blah. They will train their quirks. And so Deku actually Deku actually teaches Uraka how to use how he uses his wires. And he says he find he knows ways that Uraka could use my his wires something like his wires too. And so and Uraka's like confused. She's like, wait, but I don't have wires coming from out of my hands. So Deku explains that he's been working on something like that. So it's basically the wires from out of his hands. It's just like this wrap wire thing. And so and then these rings, like a whole bunch of like all rings. And then there's just a glove full of wires, like all around like those metal wires that he has all around it. And you could shoot them from out like the rings and stuff like that. And so Uraka's like cool and stuff like that, but how could she use her quirk on the wires if they just come out that fast? So Deku explains that he's he Deku explains that he's working on that. But Deku um explaining that he's going to use a blood sample for um from anyone that he's gonna give it to and put it inside of the machine so it um inside of the machine so the quirk is transferred into the thing. So basically, all you gotta do is touch something, and no, actually, okay, let's say they they float on on their own. So basically, and actually, let's say Deku Uraka. Okay, yeah, this is the the quirk, and then the also, and then let's say Deku also adds I don't know something where she can really control it. Something like um, I don't know. I, I oh, it's like the guy, that guy, that guy with the um bombs from Reborn, or the guy with the knife from Reborn, that they can control the knives and then move them to places that they're not supposed to. When you throw them, they're supposed to go straight, not up, left, round, and zigzag and line up, down, miss, and around, back and stuff like that. Whatever. It's, yeah, basically like that. So, yeah, so that's basically what happens, because I don't want Uraka to have that type of court, and it's, like, more helped her more in the Bakugo fight, and so she'll have to use a support item, so, yeah. So, Deku, obviously, um, Deku, uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, uh, it's first day of school, obviously, everyone knows that. This the first day, I'm only doing the first day of school, like 
the villain versus heroes, the hero, villain versus hero training, obviously, and then the um, training, I mean, the thing that Azar made him do. I don't know what they're called. So, so uh, I think it's called, the, I, think it, oh, I think it was a te- quirk test, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but Deku, um, Uraka, oh yeah, let's say Deku go off on those, like, Uraka and stuff like that, so... They all meet in the classroom. They all are, like, talking and stuff like that. And so, Ida introduces himself to all of them, and then... Ida introduces them to all of them, and so, yeah, it all happens, whatever. And then... Yeah, so, basically, all the four of them are, like, really good friends and stuff like that, so... Yeah. And... Alright, uh, yeah, also, Uraka and Deku are dating. So, yeah, that happens. Um, so... I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change it one time. I, wait, I did. I did Toga one time, and it's the first time I'm doing Uraka. Next, my my next what if I'll start. I'll probably do like Momo or Jiro. Or something. I keep on saying Jiro. Is it Jiro? Oh, I don't know. I think Jiro the t- got that. T- no, yeah, Jiro the guy with the tail, earphone jack, whatever. That her, I forgot her name. I'm gonna have to search it up. Or like the Invisible Girl or Shido or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, even, it might be even All Might's, um, I think it was Niece, I'm opposing, I'm pretty sure it's Niece, yeah, yes, Niece, I watched the movie, Leave Me Alone, Children, um, yeah, but, um, yep, so basically they have, so they better go outside to go train, obviously, so Deku, Deku gets, let's say he can use something called Flash Step. Because all the training he'd be doing at before, I mean, after the thing. So he can use the electricity to shoot himself forward. Kind of like the guy from Demon Slayer, the yellow guy, but he doesn't know it. So, But he knows, Deku knows it this time. So it's like flashed up. So he can like flash this thing and then he's like, goes to the thing. Like, it's fast. I, I'm saying it's probably faster than Ida. Not, like, faster than the uh, other guy, Tenny Eda's brother, the pro hero. Or the pro or any pro hero that has a um, speeding quirk yet. But it's faster than most, peop- most, like, kids his age is quirk. Yeah, so, basically, Deku, um... Okay, so basically... Deku gets ready to, um, no, what is that? Okay, um, Deku can jump high, so he feel he gets, like, I'm gonna say Deku gets 100 in the speed tank, like, uh, like a, let me say, I'm gonna say 10, I'm gonna say 5 seconds in the speed test. He jumps 10, oh, inch, no, I don't wanna say inches. I'm gonna say 20 inches, about 20 inches. And Deku jumps 20 inches. And. And Deku's, um. Deku uses his, um, wire quirk. And he just flings the wire. The, uh, he grabs a ball with the wires, obviously. And he flings the wire. I mean, the ball with the wires wrapped around it. Forward. And the, um. Yeah, so basically that happens. Okay, so Deku just shoots it really far. So, it's like about second place. I'm gonna say second place, because I don't know how far that would be. But, I know all I know is Uraka has infinity, so... No one could beat that. And so, yeah, that happens. So, um, so yeah, also, Uraka can use those wire things. They allow it, because... And so, she has to sign the support thing. Because she says it's a part of her court, so... Yeah, basically that. Okay, so also, Deku, um... I'm gonna say Deku's quirk is better than it was. Like, he doesn't get stupid after he's... A, yeah! Hold on! I'll say, um, yeah. So basically, he doesn't get stupid, and he doesn't get stupid when he uses it. So yeah, basically that happened. So, um, now Hero versus his villain training. So, Bakugo and Tenya are the villains again, and... Ochako and Zuku are the, um, what are they? The heroes. I'm a true, of a true fan. Don't 
blame me. I mean, I'm a true fan. Yeah, I said I said heroes first. I didn't say I was gonna say nothing else. Like, I wasn't gonna say nothing else. Yeah, not I wasn't gonna say anything else. Just leave me alone. I was I was def I was definitely not gonna I was definitely gonna say the statement thing from the name of the show. It's in the name of the show. Like, that's what it's about. I didn't forget what it was called. Harass me in the comments, please. Um, but again, um, so Deku, um, Deku and Raku. Uh, I don't. I'm gonna say it's a tie this time. I never saw a tie in one of these things. So, Deku and Uraka. Uh, Deku and Uraka. Obviously, they can't. Well, I don't know who wins if it's a tie. We'll do the villain. Actually, no. Nah, I'm gonna say Deku and Uraka wins, cause there can't be a tie in there. Cause the bomb's still going, so they have to get the bomb. And if it was an actual bomb and they didn't get to it, they're dead. So. Well, okay. So Deku, Deku, and Uraka, they both go up the stairs. Deku actually goes down a different stairs. They split up. We cut. And Bakugo actually reasons with Ida and try to make a plan with Ida and stuff like that. So, But they don't win. I have no idea what's going to happen in this thing. I have no idea what's going to happen in that fight. But I'll end this video here. If you guys want to see a part two to this, just let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, remember to join our Discord again. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, oh, right. Remember to join our Discord. I'll leave the link below in the description. Please enjoy, please like and subscribe to this video. If, and if you ever want to do a what if or join what ifs or what what ifs and stuff like that, or know what if we're going to make next or have ideas for what if, just let me know in the, dis in the description. I mean, just go in the description, tap the Discord, and then just join our Discord. Basically, that's it. So, have fun. Uh, I mean, why did I say have fun? Harass me in the chat. Okay, I'll see you guys later, and I'm out. I'm out.